Hey everyone, do you like Gwenpool? We are going to look at the Gwenpool Funko Pop. But we're not just gonna look at Gwenpool. We're also gonna look at Gwenpool. And we're also gonna look at Gwenpool. There's three different Gwenpools. So as you can see, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. This is a Walgreens exclusive. And this is a regular, not exclusive. So before I open these up so you can see what is the difference between these, I will tell you who is Gwenpool in case you don't know. But also be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, so blah, 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 so we can, you know, so I, I'll keep doing these. All right, let's start with the regular Gwenpool. Uh, looking at the back of the box, this is all you have. There's no other figures in this line. Gwenpool is from another dimension where, you know, she was just a regular teen. She is not Gwen Stacy. Let's make that clear. She is not Gwen Stacy. She is a girl who read comic books. Somehow she ended up in a Marvel universe and then became like a mercenary and all this stuff. But she knows who all these characters are. Like when she first ran into Thor, she's trying to get her, her attention. And then finally she's like, Jane! No one knew that Jane Foster is really Thor. So she like, how'd you know that? So she knows stuff about other characters. That's one of her advantages. And it's, it's, it's a really cool comic. I, I really, really enjoy it. It's one of my favorites at Marvel. So this is regular Gwenpool. So she comes with a sword. You can see she, oh, she, I was gonna say, I hope she comes with a stand because sometimes these are a little top heavy. So all the Marvel ones are bobbleheads. That's just the way they have to do it. Her mask has this little thing, kind of like Deadpool's. She did have a run-in with Deadpool recently in her latest issue. So they are not the same. They are not related. Her name is Gwen Poole. P-O-O-L-E. So Gwen Poole. So this is regular Gwen Poole. Okay, then there is a Toys R Us exclusive. And I got this online, but I was at Toys R Us the other day. They had a lot of them. So head to your Toys R Us or you know, look up ToysRUs.com if you want this one. Now, what is the difference? Let me get that on there. So you can see, they look similar. Bobble. This one, she has a cell phone and a gun. So, sword or gun. And, you know, sometimes the heads are a little crooked. You can see that. And sometimes, you know, you get funky paint job. So, maybe the phone was wet. So you have that. But other than that, you can see they look the same. Arms are different, different pose, but costumes are the same. So there's that. And then there is the Walgreens exclusive. Everyone has exclusives. Exclusives everywhere. So this one is kind of like the regular one. Looks like it has a regular body, except you know, she's got the sword, she's got the hand on the hip. This one is unmasked. So you can see she's got a little bit of color in her on the bottom, the tips of her hair. So there we go. Everything else is the same. You see the two sword sheaths. So there you go. Let's do it this way. If you like Gwenpool, you can get, you have your choice of three different versions. They all cost the same. It's just a matter of finding this one or this one at the right place. So that is Gwenpool. Let us know what you think of Gwenpool. Let us know what you think of Funko. Which one do you like best? If you had to choose one, would you choose the regular one with the sword? Would you choose the Toys R Us one with the cell phone and a gun? Or would you choose the Walgreens unmasked? Let me know. And also, let's move these over. Be sure to subscribe right here. And also, check out this video too while you're here. So, there you go. Subscribe, check out the video, subscribe, like this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>